Hi artists, I'm so happy to see you. Welcome to art. Today art is going to be a little bit different because as you can tell, I am not at school and I am in my house. I'm a little bit sad because I was really excited to make art with you at school, but I am going to explain everything to you from my house. All right, so here is what we are going to do today in art. We've been talking so much about imaginary creatures. We've been making clay, working with clay, which makes us feel so, so calm. We've also been talking in K3 about literature and stories and how they can help us express feelings and values and also expand our imagination. We got to work with the clay by first making a pinch pot, following these three steps, you might remember. And then we added all sorts of fun features like eyes and ears and mouths and nose and silly stuff like that. So just like how a story has a beginning, middle and end, our story does too. So at the very beginning, we started with the clay. Let's have a look at how we made the clay. Hello artists, I am in the upper school right now and I am making clay for you. So here's the muddy clay. And then over here we have some sort of powder and here's some water in this one. And it goes into this big machine here called a pug mill. So I'm gonna open it up and check on how it's doing. Oy. There's our clay. So it still looks like it's a little bit stiff. I might need to add a little bit more water. So I'm gonna add some more of this icky stuff, this mud, and mix it some more. Once the clay was just right, it came out of the pug mill like this, and I got to cut it with a string, which was pretty cool. Then I brought it over the e to the ECC so that we can make our creatures using this clay. Here's how some of them turned out. Ooh la la, and I spy a rainbow. Then I put them in that big oven. You might see it in the corner of the classroom. It's called a kiln. I turned it on, press some buttons and it got super hot, 1000 degrees, and it fired all day and all night. I came into school the next day and look how magical it was. Last week, they came out of the kiln and we used those glazes. Do you remember? We painted them and they turned out pretty light. They're going to go in the kiln one more time and they'll come out bright and sparkly. We love our imaginary creatures and today we're going to bring them to life by telling a story, just like the stories that we read in books with imaginary creatures. You are going to get a piece of paper that looks like this. It looks like a comic strip or a storyboard and you are going to work with a team. And for this story, you are gonna work in a team of two, three, or four students, and you're gonna think about it together. You're gonna to create a beginning, middle, and end of your story. And your imaginary creatures are going to be the main characters in your story. So check out this example made by some other ECC students. It is finished. They colored it in so nicely, and in the little bubbles, they wrote some words. It begins with two imaginary creatures saying, wow, what a tree. All of a sudden, on this beautiful sunny day, the rain comes out. Ooh la la, a rainbow. But it starts raining so hard that the imaginary creatures have to take shelter in a tree. Fortunately, another imaginary creature comes along and helps them build a bridge. They cross the bridge and climb up the mountain to safety, to a nice, dry, beautiful place. So as you can see in this story, we begin with where they are. That's the beginning. And in the middle, there's a problem. And at the end of the story, they solve the problem. So our stories are going to have happy endings today. Yay. So with teams of two to four students, you are going to create your story with your names on it. After you create your story, we're gonna paint on a big white piece of paper, paint your setting. So maybe your creatures are uh, at some mountains. So maybe you guys on your big piece of paper, you'll work together and draw a mountain and use watercolors. Maybe your creatures are going on an adventure in a castle or maybe a rocket ship to outer space. 
you decide you're the artist. So you're going to make the story first. And then on the big piece of paper, names on the back, you're going to draw where your characters are. When you're finished with these two things, you'll put it on the drawing rack and you can go to the choice corner. You will be finished for today. In another class, we are going to perform with our imaginary creatures, fresh out the kiln, and our beautiful big painted backgrounds. And we're going to perform our stories for each other. That's next week. I'll see you next week and we will do that together. Friends, we had so much fun making art with you today, and I cannot wait to see how your artwork turns out. I'll see you next week. Miss you. Bye.